Hi, and welcome to Chuck's Garage, your one-stop shopping for authentic oil repair and maintenance. Today's episode deals with removing and installing the oil filter late model Ram four-wheel drive pickups. The front-wheel drive shafts cross directly below the oil filter, making the filter almost inaccessible, almost impossible to get to. But there is an easy way to get to it, and that's what I'm going to show you today. Let's get started. So today we're doing a 2020 Ram truck oil filter change, and most people try to attack the oil filter by going up vertically. We're going to attack it the correct way and go horizontally, which is going to go across this front cross member and go into it like this. You have plenty of room here, and we'll put a wrench on that and spin it right off. Let's get a catch pin under there. And we're not going to be able to catch all the oil, so what we're going to do is put a nice thick rag under there to catch most of the oil. And we don't make a mess on the driveway. Let's find it. Oil will drip everywhere. People say that, yep, yeah, this is the worst place to put it, but it still is easy access to it if you know how to get to it, and it's above this front cross member. So let's continue taking that off until we get some drippings, and then we'll let it drain. Just wrench one, right? All right, that should be canvas. Catch me in under there. Let's see what we got. <laughs> and I can get under here really easy. So here we go. If I have I have cardboard here. Now, see how easy this is. And oil is starting to go everywhere, but I'm moving my catch pan to, to get it. I'll let it drain for a few seconds. Don't want to come at it all at once. <clears throat> if I can keep it vertical, I won't lose all that much spillage. But you see how easy this is to get to. People on YouTube are complaining. Oh, this is like the worst thing that can happen to me. And they invented all this stuff and funnels and all this crap. And I don't know. Critical thinking, guys. Can't get it one way, attack it another way. Oops. Okay, I'm trying to spill as little as I can, and it's kind of warm, very warm. Get this catch piano right here. It's pretty hot. If I can get that out of there without making too much of a mess. And right as she comes, and into the catch pan. And that's it. Five minutes, oil filters off. <laughs> Take all this out now. Oh, wait till later, I guess. So very little oil spillage. You know, just protect your work, protect your driveway. And it's not that bad. All right, so we'll put that new filter in. And I didn't bother with, you guys that are watching this, I'm sure you know how to drain the oil out of the pan. I'm sure you know how to put oil in the crankcase from the engine side. So I'm really just doing the filter part of this change. Uh, by the way, this the drain plug fooled me. It's actually a 13 millimeter. It took me three trips to the workbench to get the right size. So again, this is like a piece of cake. 
this is my second oil change on this and I discovered this method the first time I changed it uh, I did try to go vertically but I knew it wasn't going to work so I'll get this hand tight is this hand tight think in a quarter turn come on man So it's hand tight, I'm just going to go a quarter turn with the old wrench here. Alright, so that's good. That's about six one eight turns to get that on. So alright, just to show you where that is. Again, I'm under the front of the car, between your front two wheels. Not behind the wheels, but in front. And then here is the uh the cross member beam. And again this sun from this way. This way. <clears throat> See, there's the there's the filter from behind the wheels somewhere up in there. So right here, and obviously from here you have no way to get up that way. And uh, people are trying to do it this way. It's just not working. It's a mess. So get it from the front and you'll be okay. So that's it. Another good job.